next session is a presentation on the future with ai and india's potential by harsha vardhini ponugul srinivasalu co-founder at vizi and hanuman sml thank you so much it's a great privilege to be here and also have so many like minded people the way you all think about uh, hinduism sanatana dharma it's close to my heart as well so i'll tell you in the end of why yeah i actually to give you a little bit uh, introduction about myself i come from computer science engineering uh, background 12 years back i after graduating after working in it sector i moved to us got settled there pretty much became a citizen there but in 2019 what happened is uh, my mom came to texas uh, to stay with me she already had uh, hypertension high cholesterol she had put on lot of weight uh, she came with 12 medications uh, so many medications she carried and came to me then on top of it uh, she got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes that became a scary situation for us because what happens is in her family we have a heredity history her brothers both brothers and dad because of type 2 diabetes later they got into cord complications her both brothers passed away from cardiac issues in 40s her dad has a stroke in 30s after diabetes so my brother is a doctor he understood this he felt uh, very panic and he yeah. sure. he actually asked my mother that uh, so you have to change your lifestyle completely and that so she is very diligent and uh, he changed her lifestyle everything so i was like a caregiver taking care of her every day to ensure that she is following what we observed is in 3 months in just a month her blood glucose levels got completely stable in 3 months we could reverse her a1c level diabetes after that my brother got very happy he told my mother this is not the end but don't stop here continue the same lifestyle and diet that he has told uh because he said if you stop it maybe after 2 3 years it might come back then uh, she continued with the same healthy lifestyle and food habits later in 12 months fast forward she came back to india after co during covid times and got tested her cholesterol levels became normal her hypertension became very stable she shed all her extra weight fast forward now it's 5 years she's still healthy statured just like that during that time it took us very deep into this metabolic health disease what we figured out is half a billion people across the world have type 2 diabetes and if you look at the stats 88% of adults have are term metabolically unhealthy it means it can start from you know childhood obesity till the elderly person who has a cardiac issue 75% of healthcare diseases are related to metabolic health then we thought if we can help my mom why can't we do this for others that's how we started a first health tech company called vizi after that i thought this is my calling so i left my corporate job but healthcare and entrepreneurship was new for me so i wanted to join my brother that's how i went to mit to do mba there we got several award for vizi what we figured out is it is not just heredity or genes that matter what we are expressing in the genes is what matters it's like a piano keyboard whatever sound you make then we understood your entire lifestyle food is actually changing the genes expression itself so we went quite deep into the science we came back to india because ultimately it took us into holistic medicine where we figured out that food is a medicine we it completely took us into ayurveda but we don't call it ayurveda western people doesn't like it so we call it food as a medicine we brought meditation everything full indian way of living to the uh, world today busy we have collaborated with lot of big healthcare systems like upmc voice to cancer research center also a big cardiology group is also launching busy so we brought our indian uh, holistic way of living back to the western culture but we connected with genes entire omics scientific way we proved that this is a way we have to change the healthcare because the current healthcare system is completely on diagnosis the symptomized diagnosis they do they put you on medication or surgery but how much times medication is helping right if you don't address the root cause that's what we were doing 
after coming to this conclusion we felt how do we drain this to so many doctors or people if we have to create a university probably then we figured out ki i can help us so then we uh, tied up with iit bombay got to work on transformer technology that's where the chat gpt came with that architecture we started with working on transformers for our healthcare company but last year what happened after sam altman came after chat gpt came it became so famous that gener whole generative ai initiative happened in the world then that time my brother got a thought like india has 1.4 billion population 22 official languages 28 different states with so much diversity culture we need to have our own generative ai foundational models built in india that was his thought so we started working with iit bombay like 5 7 iit is collated with us we wanted to build for india we try to approach uh, so so many different places we went uh, basically we wanted h100 or gpus to build this models because it it's huge but india didn't had a gpus at that time so dst uh, approved the fund but they couldn't bring G the funds nascom asked nvidia if they can get h100 they had 6 to 12 months waiting period so then what we did is we actually went to oem suppliers in thailand uh, we brought the h100 to india we are the first company who brought h100 to india last year then the work started for us after that yota came in yota we have to appreciate they brought 16000 gpus to india so india has its own gpus now there is no dearth of it so this is my story but last year what happened is uh, i just came to build our healthcare company here to, uh, so in india to launch in india but after we started hanuman i felt uh, so i have to stay back here that's why i stayed and continued my journey so i'll take you off towards what hanuman is illa sir இஸ் பார்க்ல இஷு இருக்குது என் சீஃப் மெக்கானிக் தான் வந்து பார்க்கணும் ஒரு நாலு மணிக்கு மேலே நானே உங்களை கூப்பிட்றேன் இல்லைங்க கொஞ்சம் அர்ஜென்ட்டாக வேணும் எப்படியாவது ரெடி பண்ணி கொடுத்துருங்க இல்லை சார் இல்லை சார் நான் ஆனால் அனுமான் கிட்ட கேட்டு பார்க்குறேன் இந்த இஷ்யூ உடனே சரி பண்ணிடலாம் சார் हनुमान से पूछेंगे If you look at the internet uh, technology has evolved so much we started somewhere just in 90s reading static pages on the internet to now if you look at we are actually interacting with the internet through the generative ai which things like a human also it can understand vision images speech it can also speak and uh, understand everything all languages so but this is going to be in our day to day lives as well because obviously 
we interact with ai through a lot of day to day devices everywhere you see it's been emerging so the going back to why india needs obviously i was telling uh, since if you look at all the foundational models which microsoft ai has built google everybody came up with their models but what happens is so all this has been taught by the top words that are generated in the internet most of the digital words or whatever vocabulary that we have these models have been trained are in english so only some part of percentage of other languages have been trained so and also these models know about india through articles like new york times because they they have taken the data which is available across but if you come and look specifically inside india today we spoke so much about uh, sir subramanian sir spoke so much about our culture heritage it's not there out there so we these models have not been trained on that so obviously if you if we don't think about it what happens is if we just use those models built in Eng built from english western countries then so obviously we end up forgetting our culture or heritage we will lose everything because english becomes a huge barrier 85% of people across the globe are non english speakers so it applies to india as well this is really creating a low productivity as well if you look at boston they have such a less population 6 lakhs but they have 600 billion economy while i was at mit i saw such a rich place they had so it's it looked so wealthy but if you look at mumbai 2.1 crore we have population but we have only 277 billion dollars because of english being a barrier this is creating low productivity for the people who cannot speak english so that's why we thought we need a generative ai which can actually understand our language which is trained from our indian own data sets own language so that it doesn't become a barrier for non english speaking people you saw that video where that's a vision including even a day to day mechanic should be able to you know use technology to solve the problems day to day problems they have also to become productive technology should be accessible to everybody but in english model what happened is as i said they have thought with only few language data sets of ours it only translates the grammar is completely different english grammar and indian language grammar is totally different so we need something to be built from scratch which has equal number of words of both both languages so that it can really translate rightly that's what we built through hanuman this is india's first multimodal multilingual uh, foundational model we thought we have solved the problem by giving this to the world but later what happened is we started interacting with enterprises to ask them to use the hanuman and start building their solutions but what happened is enterprise require whole solution it's just not just the model their problem is very different what they were looking for is they wanted something built in india which is put in their own premise so that they can train it with their knowledge they are worried that if they train open ai it's very closed model because no bank or no industry which has its wealth of knowledge data wants to just train some other model which can take it out of the country so they want it to be protected that and another problem that we saw is sovereign use cases we started working with uh, central government for public grievance portal uh, then also state government of telangana uh, they also have a same concern they preserve so much sensitive data about the population about indian population obviously they don't want to use some outside models to protect our data the second thing is there are open source models like llama there but they are so complex for industries to use because it needs whole level of expertise technical expertise they can't hire those it people to build entire it center so we thought we need a holistic solution for uh, for our country for our enterprises and government that's why we if you look at the ideation to manufacturing that's what is even going to happen in generative ai also since as i said every enterprise has its own specific data specific knowledge that they want to train so everybody needs their own custom solutions so it needs a factory of models that has to be built but can we do that the problem here is if you look at this study 
we score on 14 percent on generative ai today if you look at us it scores top second is china unfortunately but if you look at the skill set we have huge manpower skill set compared to china but we lack in infrastructure development and commercialization that's why we fall so low on the curve as our skill set is 86 percent above China's is only like around 30 percent so we thought we need to bridge this gap as well so then uh, we started working on building whole stack solution generative AI solution for for our country so what it means is we we start from compute layer you you can you we have connected partnered with everybody like intel nvidia all hyperscalers you can choose your compute and also we have a models ranging from all different industry use cases we also have partnered with private and public to get the data sets so that hanuman can have its own data sets in indian languages we also have 22 indian languages hanuman can also speak 100 global languages as well then on top of it what we have done is we have also integrated a million workflows where uh, we have bought all the brought basically all the features that the perplexity mistral or other foundational models have built on top of it we also made it so easy that without any code enterprises can build their applications their agents and everything whole stack we brought it that that's for enterprises and the industries then next next we started thinking like we will scale it across so we started going even outside the country as well because not just in india other countries also need something for their own country hyper local we started with king with sri lanka government middle east countries we started developing big clientele and uh, if you look at the generative ai next uh, it it is going to create a trillion dollar economy and it is going to create two crore jobs in next uh, five to ten years so we wanted india to get you know at least like 10 percent of those jobs so we thought we need to go after education now so we started talking to universities the good thing is next month we are launching in delhi a uh, generative ai center of excellence in delhi uh, with vivekananda institute uh, they are going to become a deemed institute the purpose here is to solve that infrastructure development problem with center of excellence hubs what happens is we will give entire infrastructure and also we have collaborations with other universities in us uh, because of that healthcare uh, initiative that we built we want to bring that knowledge here as well have indian students co collaborate with them be part of publishing papers develop our research plus have that infrastructure in line so that students can use this to build their own products someone if and also we need to close the skill gap the main concern that industries has is as uh, ma'am was saying the subjects in the colleges is, is like very backward the industry is going so fast so there is a huge gap that's why we wanted to fill this gap so we are giving this entire lms management system with full stack ai studio that lms is been uh, we have partnered with intel and also uh, with uh, with mit license generative ai courses where all the engineering students will get trained on generative ai we are also giving our industry projects through our clients and partners so that the skill gap is closed we will create generic jobs through this the, that's the first hub we are doing in delhi and similarly we are planning to create five six hubs across the country so that those universities will take to the other colleges across the country So India is uh, India AI mission is also contributing a lot towards it. We have a lot of initiative from the government. They are also spending twenty thousand crores on this, and uh, they are also building a lot of startups. So next, I want to talk personally about like where do Hanuman wants to go. Th this is something first time I am sharing in the public why we are so passionate about Hanuman. So when we were launching on Ak Akshay Titiya, so. Hanuman is something my brother's own personal mission for India, but I didn't have any attachment for him. Just to support him, I got into this honestly. But the day when we were launching Hanuman, I had a, like I do meditation. So I was meditating and asking Hanuman about the purpose. What is the purpose of this? Then I felt, 
I got a message that Hanuman is has three purposes. One is healthcare to bring health to people, to bring wealth to people, and consciousness to train about consciousness. I could connect the dots. Healthcare we are bringing. I said we are bringing holistic traditional medicine back to the healthcare system. And then the second thing is education. Now we got into it without knowing it. He, he pulled us into the whole education system. Next, we are also going to primary schools and high schools also to to actually give kids the entire generative AI uh, through that they can even study in their own language. English shouldn't become a barrier. We want to make it for 99 rupees affordable. That's our mission. We are working towards it. And the third, consciousness. I didn't have an answer like how do we achieve this? What do we do? But after coming today, I felt maybe my path is to connect to group like you all to train Hanuman so that because next what happens, you know, everybody, every youth kid will interact with Hanuman, will interact with generative AI. So if generative AI knows this knowledge, it can teach them, it can give them suggestions based on that. Since we are getting into education, we are completely going to all the students from primary scale to the youth. I thought if we can train all this to Hanuman, Hanuman can in turn teach. We can enforce those values. Why I feel so connected with this is my own personal story I'll tell you. In, uh, so we grew up from very spiritual family. My parents are from very spiritual background. During my engineering college itself, I used to read Bhagavad Gita every day, do meditation. I was so deep into that. I was an astrologer as well. But I couldn't predict my own dad's death or his health problem. He suddenly passed away. After that, I, I was so connected with God. I felt so upset with that. I became an atheist. I moved to US and I was more like an atheist person. Two years back, my, what happened is my daughter became, uh, my daughter had a very deep problem. She was quite growing well. Later, she got developed into neurodiversity disease like autism and she, her health started getting regressed. During that time, my health started suffering because I went into such a panic mode that every day without sleep, she was growing so well and suddenly at two years of her age, she, her health is going reverse. And it really took away my peace of mind. I started developing tremors, honestly. I didn't, because I didn't have anything to fall back and see that strength, you know, which you get from spirituality. I lost it because of my atheism. Later, what happened? I went completely into neuroscience. It took me into neuroscience. From neuroscience, I connected with a neuroscientist from Harvard who had a stroke. And uh, her name is Joy Butler. You have to listen to her TED talk. And through her experience during that, she experienced nirvana. Uh, that was very shocking the way she, uh, she has written her book about nirvana, which I could connect with my Bhagavad Gita, what Krishna told about whole consciousness, everybody is connected. Then I went quite deep into that consciousness understanding. If you look at Western neuroscience now, it's actually talking about consciousness, which we spoke thousands of years back in our Vedas and Bhagavad Gita. Then I felt like if you look at Ayurveda, the same thing. We, uh, Western culture is also saying now food is a medicine, you have to look at holistic way. If you look at neuroscience, that is also now talking about consciousness, but they're still in, like in the beginning. Meditation, mindfulness, everything is from India. It took me back to my spirituality. After that, I lost all my health. You know, I got so much hope, so much strength. Now I'm not fearing about anything. If you look at my daughter, I brought her to India last year because the healthcare system, the way they were handling her, it was totally absurd. After I came to India, got her treated here holistically. Fast forward, she came out of all those mental health issues. Now she is recovering phase. Only speech is delayed for her now. And for me personally, so I completely got back into my spirituality. Spirituality is nothing but I feel personally, it gives you a lot of hope gives you purpose of life. It makes you grounded. It's not like me, me, selfishness. You feel connected with everybody. You feel that you need to do something, you know, for others. You will also think in others' perspective. I felt our kids shouldn't lose this, you know, which we have inherited. So we should do something. Since technology is overtaking a lot, 
everybody is interacting with technology learning from technology i feel we should do something we have to integrate everything with this the new way of learning what is happening with technology so that we take this back to western across the world as well because we have so much knowledge strength which we have achieved through our yogi is doing lot of meditation you know tapas everything the knowledge that the gain which is a truth science is very like you know it takes some decades for them to even come to that conclusion uh, so that's my next motive i'm looking forward to collaborate with you all so that you know we bring consciousness learning also to our next generation we don't lose our culture and heritage thank you all Hi, ma'am. Your presentation is very hopeful. I cannot hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. So, thanks a lot. I have two questions, ma'am. So, one is: uh, Are there any protection rights for your uh, Hanuman website? Uh, second question is. Uh, regarding the dialects for the languages so those people who don't have any script for the dialects can ai help to uh, write their own script and to be able to read yeah uh, for first question what we are doing is since we have built a complete enterprise full stack solution that is something we have released to the clients for the public we are coming up next month to release to the public itself so then on the website you will start seeing our multi model you will start you you can start interacting and using it then the second question that you have yes da, in hyper local llm not only english uh, sorry the multilingual aspect of it dialect is very important because in each language each state people have many dialects that is something we were, we are how we are trying to do is speech is very important we are data is very important here we are getting gathering the data as much as possible from uh, that's our next focus to improve our uh, dialect conversation to gather data to train it so that it can understand and for public also we want to make it available so that they can also speak and train it that's that's the next version we are planning thank you ma'am Uh, it is kind of linked to what uh, the question she asked is the same thing like we have uh, languages without script and we have many people who can speak the language whatever their native language is but not necessarily read and write so an audio answer a video answer like many people i know uh, they just go straight to youtube for answers right because it's visual and it's you know you hear it you don't have to read anything do you have anything like that yeah so two things script is much easy to train because you can also a lot of scripts are there only thing is we have to extract them in digital format and do it that's what we are continuously training but for the especially speech where the dialect comes into picture speech also we need uh, as much speech as possible from each dialect that is some that's why we need to give this make this available to everybody so that we can gather much speech data and that will help us to train uh, the models where it will understand the dialect dialect even some of the words people speak very differently in telangana telugu is different compared to andhra telugu we started doing that as well speech is something we are working on next now we created speech for hindi english and uh, telugu telugu is my mother tongue so also telangana government wanted us to start first but for all the languages it's all about data i'm saying honestly it needs a uh, entire collaboration so that's why i'm talking to everybody whoever has you know something they want to train so our models we can even give them if they have a data you can uh, train like your agent your assistant that's the kind of solution we have built 
and it can even help others as well. Thank you, Harsha. That was so inspiring. My question as a change maker, I have similar experience as you, is when you encounter um, challenge, you know, what you're doing is pioneering. So what is the kind of challenge you've encountered and how have you then overcome that? This is a great challenge, question. It's all about money, funding, honestly. Because what happened is when we wanted to build uh, Hanuman, it, it was government who came forward first saying that they will fund it and do it. But unfortunately, it got delayed. And we had gathered around 30 students from IITs, many professors. We didn't want it to stop. My brother said, OK, I'll continue to fund until you know that happens. Then the GPUs was another big thing. So we start, we literally pulled our healthcare company money and started putting on this. Later, what we figured out interestingly is the investors, we went and spoke. They said, OK, for models, nobody is investing. Nobody pays for the models because there are a lot of open source models on the internet hugging face. So find out a business model where we can invest, you know. Uh, that was very unfortunate reality. Uh, so it, that's how we had to connect with industries. Else, our focus was only to give it to public. Just build it, give it to India, everybody to use it to close this gap, English barrier gra gap. But when we have we have to sustain. So that's how we started working with industries and we figured out another business model, the entire stack that we had to build. So now we are super confident about the funding that we will raise. But it's always about money. Even if I have to do train the culture, history, heritage, I don't think any private investor will do it. But we want to do it. But later what happens if everybody starts using and if people see Obviously, you know, it will create wealth. If it creates jobs, it will create wealth to the country, to us also. Then everybody will come to invest. Uh, so it's always some challenge. And data is another challenge, the second challenge. Because on the internet, all the data that we have is English data, most of the tokens. So we had to work with government and uh, so all other uh, people who are passionate about this to preserve our languages, culture, to tokenize them. We literally took 3,000 books of uh, Indian knowledge system to do OCR, extract the data, tokenize it, digitize it, and train. Uh, it's still like a working progress. You know, the more people collaborate, the more we can do. Uh, good morning, and thank you very much for uh, your presentation. I have one small question. You mentioned that we should collaborate um, for the public, for us. What is the best way to collaborate and to contribute? Um, you know, how does that word collaborate actually turn into action? This is a great question. I feel one way is uh, if you have kids at home, education system, that is something we want to bring in. We will be launching soon. So we want you all to use it. The second thing is obviously if you have a data or anything that you want to train with, so Indian, whatever is related to Indian heritage, we would like to work with you. Because since we have this AI stack solution, we can give it to anyone. You can, you know, you yourself can come and work. It's like a playground. You can put your data, train it, so that it becomes better and become better. That's, that's the most easy way. Hope I answered your question. Yeah. So on Hanuman website also we have an email, support email, or you can even, you know, uh, contact me. I would be happy to take your number as well. <laughs> Basically how we are thinking is to democratize it, if you look at my slide, one of the slides I said, we should become a factory of LLMs. Because if you have something you want to build, a solution, solve a problem, you can use this and build it and you can sell it. You know, that way you will also make monetization and also the Hanuman will also benefit out of it. So we are making it, we are also, uh, I didn't tell about the startups, that's another thing that we are doing. 
uh, for the uh, universities. Since I come from MIT, I was also part of MIT Accelerator program, which we got selected. So I have spoken to MIT. I am bringing that to India as well. So the startups, whoever want to be part of it, for universities we are launching, they can you know go through that accelerator program entirely spin their product on Hanuman AI Studio, and they can go to whatever their end users and sell it. Uh, so it's like very connected. You will also make money through selling your services and Hanuman will also get. And second thing is, if you are not building anything that you're commercializing, just want to contribute to Hanuman, we can even talk about that because even for data generation, lot of data annotation, all this, we are, you know, hiring people and uh, doing it. We are even paying them. Uh, so you said uh, the LMS is through MIT. Yes, MIT and Intel collaboration. Intel. So it is not available free for everyone. Currently, no. That's why I said uh, we want to, because since we are not able to do it at free, so we are charging the universities and engineering colleges. But our future vision is to actually make this 99 rupees per month for the students. That's where we are working towards. And the best thing is we built it very frugally. If you look at OpenAI, Microsoft themselves say they are putting billions of dollars. We didn't do that. For us, we have built very frugally. So we can, you know, we, we can come up with something in next few months that we can charge just 99 rupees for the students to use it. That's our vision. Hope we will achieve that. If that happens, then almost everybody can, you know, access this in India. Madam, um, um, do, you, do you have built any special algorithm to understand the human behavior, you know, human cultural behavior fully, madam? Like, or, you know, uh, still the day is not in, inefficient to you know, understand the cultural behavior of the human being fully, actually. Uh, the, the, the foundation logic is still is missing, ma'am, or we have to build new logic to, you know... We need to build it, honestly, because what currently models have been built upon is just scraping the data all over the internet, training them. It just understands the words and the knowledge across the globe. But if you have to specifically train on some specific skill or behavior, we need to gather that information and train it. But the judgmental, madam, that you know, the, the data have to the intuition, the thing still it's lagging actually. Yeah. For that, we have to uh, you know build new logic to understand. We need, yeah, we need to go into the research mode to be. As I was saying, still the mathematical logic is yeah. lacking actually. Yeah. We have to incorporate the consciousness model into the yeah. mathematical foundation logic, then right. only, you know. Right. Actually, I spoke to my researchers. One of the researchers that we have is, he's the only PhD in the country who, di who did PhD on LLMs. I spoke to him, like, how do we train consciousness to, to our model? He said, it's very tough to do it. It's a research project. But at least what I want to achieve in short term is train all this knowledge, Indian knowledge system to Hanuman so that it will train others. But to, if you have to bring consciousness in AI, that's my ultimate purpose and goal. So I still don't know. We need to do a lot of research work. Yeah, it needs like deep uh, architectural level of work. That's why we have to enable this to the, all the universities for students also to, to work. We need to have researchers from India. Once we do that, then someone will come up with the solutions. If we start building technology from our country, then we will think from our perspective like you. Then we will also do research on that and we will find solutions. That's why it's very important to bring research in our country. So that next generation technology will come from India. We don't always take from someone and use it and pay for them. Okay, very simple question. Um, when students are going to be use it, uh, using it large scale, and say there are students who like say access data like we access for from wikipedia how can you make sure that they get the correct kind of information oh, instead we, of biased yeah. information we have put a lot of guardrails and uh, all that uh, safety everything in the uh, models uh, technically we have put all that jail breaking everything we ourselves tried uh, we have had even a lot of people to try to break it so we have built those guardrails. We also took help of Microsoft. So all these companies who have figured out this. And there is still some hallucinations happening. That is something still everybody is working on to control it. 
but as far as i can say we try to control and give as much as accurate information as possible any more questions anyone are you going to integrate ar and vr into this the still we haven't thought about it but that's that will be wonderful okay yeah Thank you.